All right, check this out. Um, I knew a long time ago that pepper, basically the piperine inside the pepper, actually reacted with the curcumin that's inside of turmeric. And it has a synergistic effect, and it makes it like 2,000 times more effective. Now, I'm explaining this to you so that you can try and understand because, and then I'm, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show it to you. I'm, I'm going to put the whole thing together. Um, I want to break, basically I want to break this down because a lot of times we don't use certain things because we don't understand the complexities of the herbs and or the plant world so we kinda we kinda don't wrap our minds around it and these things kinda end up in the back of our shelf and we don't realize that we have certain problems that these things can easily solve okay I'm about to make my little elixir that I always love to make and it's the anti-cancer anti-arthritis anti-mucus anti-inflammatory it's like the it's like my super detox elixir it's what I like to make and it's when I show you the way I make it, it's very, very simple, but it's powerful, okay? Um, the story behind it um, is basically, like I said, the piperine that is actually inside of the pepper actually reacts with the curcumin inside the turmeric, and it makes it more bioavailable because what happens is, now, don't quote me on this. I'm not sure if I'm right, but just like, you know, MAO inhibitors and certain things like that inhibit other enzymes inside your body from doing things and they make it so that your other medication and stuff like that can work. What the piperine in the pepper does for the curcumin inside the turmeric is it blocks the enzyme and or protects it from the enzyme that would break it down at a certain digestive stage so it passes that stage and gets to another stage where it's it's more bioavailable and it's more effective inside of your body so basically that's what it does if you want to understand um they did some tests on it and they did come to find out that it reduces pain okay it reduces a lot of pain and it can be actually be applied topically also, so you can actually, you know, infuse this into like an oil and make an anti-inflammatory out of it. Um, and it works with rheumatoid arthritis, the same mixture and what it is I'm about to do. And it also has an effect on cancer here. Um, it looks like dietary polyphenols like piperine and curcumin have been studied for their effect on prevention of breast cancer. Mammosphere formation, which is a marker of breast stem cells, was studied. Early Progenitor cells, normal stem cells, and healthy breast epithelial cells were examined after control. Piperine and curcumin treatment was administered. Turmeric and black pepper compounds both inhibited mammosphere formation. They also did not cause any toxicity, therefore showing that they could be possible cancer preventative agents. Um, anytime you uh, see stuff like this, they're always going to be really, really light on the situation as far as curing the cancer, you know what I'm saying? And they sometimes they don't, you know, they don't want to go too much into the truth here, but this can be a treatment for your breast cancer, all right, or any kind of cancer you got in the body, you know, stomach cancer, whatever kind of cancer you got in there, this goes in there and it actually, you know, it attacks it. Um, the turmeric and black pepper could be combined to fight high cholesterol levels, obesity, and diabetes. Okay, it also helped with glu glucose levels. Um, what else do we got here? You got flavonoids and CPQs, which is uh, possibly responsible for many of the reactions like a decrease in glucose transport. Um, it basically helps with this presence of this flavonoid inside of your body. Okay, then it goes down here and it helps relieve gastric mucosal damage caused by peptic ulcers. So it's kind of crazy that you that I'm mentioning this because you think something like a turmeric combined with a ginger combined with some pepper 
would be something that would be more irritating to, say, the gastrointestinal or something like that because it goes in and it has that spicy and a little hot. and But it actually relieves mucosal damage caused by peptic ulcers. And this goes hand-in-hand -hand with my other video. What they're basically saying here with the cat gastric and the mucosal damage caused by peptic ulcers, what they're saying right there is that's the leaky gut. The mucosal damage, that's from all the grains and the garbage and the crap in there causing that gap and causing the leaky gut syndrome, which are basically ulcers when they, all oh, these holes and leaky gut, you're, you're leaking all over the place, okay? Um, so basically what is stating here is it also helps with that. Um, I'm not even going to go into that basically, as y'all already know as of right now, it's helpful, okay? So, what do we do or how do we make ourselves a little something? Alright, so what I did was, over here, I got my pot, I'm going to just turn this on, come on, come on, alright, turn you on. Bam, I got some fire. All right, now I'm going to come back over here. Okay. Hold on one second. Let me set this camera up real quick. Boom. All right, where we at over here? All right, what I went to the store and got was, I went to the store and got this. This right here is turmeric. Okay? I just ripped the piece off from right here. I just ripped the piece off from here. And this is basically all I'm going to be using. The ginger, you can see, this is what I'm going to be using, all right? And so basically what I'm going to do is now, I don't know, I mean, some people, I don't know, they, they skin it and stuff like that. And me personally... I don't know what that outside skin is. I don't know, but I'm as far as I'm concerned, something in this outside skin is anti-cancer. Okay, that's that that's the way my brain works. Something in here is anti-cancer, and uh, I, I I want it in my body. So Now, what I'm doing is I'm slicing this thin because basically what I'd like to do is I just like to increase the surface area as much as possible. And as you can see right there, you know what I mean? You're getting that yellow turmeric curry kind of. Oh, yeah. And it smells like it, too. It just, it just smells like curry. That's what it smells like. Uh, I kind of already exposed this ginger right here, and then you see the juices is already flowing. If I leave this or put this in the refrigerator, it's going to suck up and shrink up all the way to, like, back around here. So instead of doing all that, you know what I'm saying, just, you know what I'm saying, just, why not, just you know, put it up in the pot. Try not to cut my finger off while I'm doing this video. Okay. And another thing was, remember I said. Nah, but that's not what I was talking about. But And you got to have a pepper. You got to have a pepper. And you can't use regular ground pepper that's in your house already. That pepper was sitting in the factory. They ground it. The oil is dry in there. You need the peppers that come with the grinder or the ones you mash up. You need whole peppers that you're going to crack so the oil is still in there. Okay, where's my cup at? Look at how much pepper I'm going to put in here. Like that much pepper. See that? It's like, it's not that much pepper. It's not that much. It's not a lot at all. But that's it right there. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take this right here. Okay. And I'm going to toss this up in the pot. Okay, we're just going to put this all up in the pot. Get up in there. Get up in there. Don't get all technical with it. You know what I'm saying? Just, just get it to where it needs to be so 
You know what I'm saying? You can be healthy. Anti-cancer, anti-inflammatory, no mucus. Get up in there, yo. Boil, 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 boil. All right. And so when I'm done with that, I come back over here. I'm just going to pour the mixture of that into here. And then that's it. You know, I'm going to use my strainer. I'm going to take my strainer from here. And I'm going to put it over here. And I'm going to strain it right through there just in case any ginger pieces or any turmeric pieces come out. And it's going to go right into there. And I'm going to let it sit in the oils. That's in there because that's freshly ground pepper are going to react with the curcumin and it's going to have that reaction that we talked about. And that's the end result right there. So, all right. That's all you need. You need some pepper. You need you some, some turmeric. You know what I'm saying? And me, I, no, I, I wouldn't say, I mean, I would say you could get the same result from, um, you know, uh, yellow just straight turmeric but you this is the power right here like this is this is still potent like this is still alive you know this is this is still a living root you know this this is still got you know a frequency to it so you know you really want that that's always going to be more potent than a dry herb you know a fresh herb is more potent than a dry herb okay and the same thing with you know the ginger and stuff you know you just want to you know you want to get it fresh and if you really want to you know, dose it up. If you're dealing with cancer, you got some kind of cancer in any part of your body. Black seed oil, nigella, sativa oil, also known as onion oil, kalanji oil, whatever you want to call it, is the cure to all things. You can always just put a teaspoon of that in there. And, you know, this will also add to that. You know what I'm saying? And if you're looking for black seed oil, it's everywhere. So Amazon, it's at any given, it's an indie indie store. It's anywhere and it's everywhere. And, you know what I'm saying? Just always. Always.